Now we're gonna take out the floors. So we're just taking out uh, the rest of the screws that are in there and then we're gonna peel up the rubber and then peel up the plywood and see what's under there. So this is the cover for the fuel sending unit. Gotta take it off so we can take the floor out. It's probably gonna end up underneath the fireplace, which we're gonna have a, on a platform anyway, so we'll probably have like a drawer or something under it yeah. so that we'll be able to access it if we need to. Yeah. That's it. That's your fuel sending unit. So we've cut back the floor to discover the floor is actually almost perfect from what we can see. Yeah, so I don't think we're gonna rip up the floor until we need to, because we don't want it to rust when we're working in here, because it's snowing outside. We've got moisture on our boots, so. Yeah, so you can just see how the wheel wells that rusted around them. And uh, we're just gonna investigate and see how bad it is around there. So we're gonna address something. <laughs> well, we haven't done anything in like two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been busy with other things. Mm -hmm. We haven't just been sitting around doing nothing. Obviously. That, and for two videos we've been saying, we're going to do the floors. <laughs> I don't no, know if only one. Only the last video. The reason it's taken us so long to do the floors is because we can't figure out the right order, order to do things. Yeah. If we tear all the floors and we paint it and make it all nice, we don't want to be step on, stepping on it a lot when we're working on the windows and doing the sheet metal and tearing out the roof and the walls. So yeah. we decided we would do some of those things first before we rip out the floors so that we're not damaging the floors. Yeah. We're going to have to do that a little bit anyways, but the floor's got to come up. It's just that order of operations problem and yeah. we're just... We gotta stop thinking about it and just do something. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do the floors today. Yes. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> the floors because there's screws that are laid underneath the rubber and we can't find the screws they're all hidden and so there's no way to like extract it you can't get the rubber off yeah the rubber is too hard to just peel up off the plywood so so we're cutting it in strips with the saw and then we're peeling those pieces up we're just prying up on the screws and popping them up yeah. then we just have to tear it apart not Okay, there's no gentle way to do this. Yeah. <laughs> side of the bus and so the moisture and all the salt comes through all the holes that's why 
All the rust is coming in the back here. But the front's pretty good. Yeah. So a little bit of a late start today. It's about four o'clock. Um, and now we're going to grind the rust off the floors. Never mind, I got a uh, further instruction from the boss. That's the boss. And he said we're gonna take off this stuff over here. Ready? Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. Check this out. So it's uh, it's early spring here in uh, Canada, and the bus has been parked in the backyard since we pretty much got it, and the ice that was underneath the bus has melted substantially. Here, take a look. This is crazy. The tire was sitting on that ice mound behind the tire and it slipped forward in the middle of the night. So the bus was sitting originally right tight to these tires. That's where this bumper was. And it slid this far. Look how close my truck was. Like, this is the space I got between my truck and my and the bus. Like, it could have completely hit the, hit the truck. Like, uh, I'm so lucky that this didn't slide right into the truck. Crazy. So we're gonna cut the walls off instead of taking the windows out and drilling out the rivets and taking out the proper way. The one window that we took out that's right near the back has fallen out just because of the wind a whole bunch of times. So if we took out all the windows and did that, they're all gonna fall out on us and it's gonna be a nightmare. So we're gonna cut them below the line. We need to cut this out to be able to remove these. And once these are out, we'll be able to properly do the floors right tight to the outside of the bus. And then once the floor is done, then we'll work on taking all the windows out, sheet metaling them closed, and putting in our proper windows. There's bolts in behind here, um, and Adam undid those last night, but we still can't get those off. So I think we're just gonna cut it here for now um, because we need to insulate it behind here. So we need to get these gone, pretty much. And I don't know if I'm yelling because I can't hear myself. <laughs> because our well first of all our floors are gonna go over that and second of all our walls will go over that so this will be in behind any insulation we put in mm -hmm. so we've kind of been avoiding something um the driver's seat uh -oh. it needs to go uh -oh. So that we can make a seat. <laughs> I have the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> and my face is filthy. And it needs to go because we need to do the floor under it. And we're going to make it uh, the floor that we put in nice and seamless all the way up to the front of the driver's seat. That's it. But I like this seat, but not really. We're gonna have to get a new seat for Randy. Next. Yeah, Randy's honestly gonna be pissed. Uh, 
Uh oh. Kind of like a plate. Where are your muscles? Oh, you ripped it? I got it. Put all your stuff there, all your junk there. Do we really need to take this plate out? Why? It gives us a good mounting point. Yeah, because it's a floor. It's got a good mount. Yeah. I, I don't see the point in taking this out. Yeah, because you put it on the floor, what you're going to have nothing to dirty the thing, eh? Yeah. Not, nothing to bolt on, right? Oh, well, you don't have to take that off. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Come. Yeah. All right, so the seat's gone. Driver seat's out of here. Yeah, so in the next uh, videos, we're going to be uh, ripping out the windows, sheet yeah. metaling them in. Yep. And we're going to prep the floors for paint. Yep. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.